Hello, welcome to my day 18 of my math vlogs. Now today, we had a unit test given back to us. Oh my god, we failed, yay! But no, not exactly failed. We didn't fail miserably, at least. We didn't get the usual 5 out of 30, you know. Only like a 4th or a 5th, you know. It's like, today, we actually had um, an actual higher chance of passing, but we didn't actually pass. I got 6 mistakes and Juriel was actually the highest. I think he had only 3 mistakes. Three mistakes, or three to pass, rather, because, you know, we didn't pass. <sighs> we need to change that. So, today, uh, we had to know a new lesson, and it was basically kites. We had to know how to use kites, and it was basically proving of kites. We had to know the properties, and we just discussed it. Actually, it's supposed to be a very easy lesson. Like, oh, yeah, it's just kites. You know, it's nothing difficult. But then again... It was easy because we were able to see it that it was related to the other figures. You know how the family tree is just descending, you know? And you're like, oh, wait a second. This looks like a rhombus. This looks like a parallelogram, but it's not. Actually, it's basically saying that it's like it's just half, and then the other half, and then these four are right angles. So it's like, you know, yeah, it's pretty, pretty solid. It's concrete. It's something that's easily digestible. At the same time, it's difficult to understand something because, you know, with the past lesson, you kind of shocked and you're traumatized by the failures that you've had. And eventually, you say to yourself that you won't do it. But then, you know, it comes reinforced with, like, the virtue of the month, which is joy. Hallelujah. Praise the God. We have happiness within ourselves. Optimism that reinforces this negativity, this pessimism, this pessimistic outlook on everything that just makes things so difficult for us it's like looking at something like it's like this and when in fact it's supposed to be like this if my face were to be closer to the camera you cannot see everything else around me which in, in hindsight or well, in obvious and it's very clear that there's a really big space around me and if I were to say that the circumference or the area and perimeter of my head that fills up this background is only a very small part of everything else where in fact I can fit probably four of my other selves here in this small background of mine and that's to say that optimism is to see like the glass is half empty or half full or it's like seeing things in everything else that I, you may be focused on what is the center of attention right now because everything else is insignificant. It's just a background. It's to say that there's more space. Like, there is more space for improvement. There's more space for actually striving for success. And that's to say that you have to have little joys within it. That, and these little joys are like, number one, I have my classmates. They're suffering with me. That's a very pessimistic thing to say but it's true because we are struggling to say the least and despite our struggle um we are still thriving we are still building up we are still moving forward we are train still moving we are running out of coal we are not going anywhere fast but we're still moving and marianne thank god for her She's asking all the questions. In fact, everything something happens, this is not really insulting. No, it's actually, I shouldn't be. Anyway, I'm saying it. It's that she asks questions a lot. And that's good. Because it's better to ask too many questions than it is not to say any at all. Because in fact, if you ask questions, it means you're listening. It means you're indulging. It means you're being surrounded by the topic. And you're understanding. More importantly, you understand the teacher once questions are asked, even sometimes they're very obvious, like, oh, what is this number? Oh, what's the multiple of this? You know, things that are like, even if it's obvious, it's just sometimes if you feel the smallest concern of being lost, at least you have a way of, you know, removing that before it becomes like mold and, and just makes a bread, you know, unedib inedible. And I like to say, I like to say that you know, if I see things in such an optimistic way, then I will be like the bread, where it won't be 
I won't see the mold around it. I can just cut and eat whatever's left. Because I can say that, you know, there is still hope. And I shouldn't let it consume me like mold. Something that once is there, it cannot be solved. And it's just something that's permanent. It'll just scar me forever. In fact, it's supposed to be something that's uh, helping you. It's supposed to be guidance. It's supposed to be something that teaches you a lesson that things are better. So yeah, thank you for listening.